Hello, Clay here. I wanted to show you an update on what I've done to this quail. Well, it used to be the rabbit hutch. Now it's the quail's summer home. Uh, I kept three males of the brown, Quikui being one of them. And uh, now they're in both containers because what I did is I changed their feeder to this rabbit thing and I put a wire in here with a square, one inch square wire just like we have on the wall down in the bottom so they can't dig the feed out onto the ground as much. I'm sure they're still doing it a little bit. Collect these eggs on right here. And I also cut a hole right through here. And I put a, a one and a half by two inch because there's a two inch gap where we had the rabbits. Two inch gap between here, so I laid this there so they can't get their their toes caught in the wire. They step up onto the thing and jump over to the other side. So they got food and water in this side, and then there's uh, a grit. I used the other feeder that I had and I'm putting grit in there for them. And collect this egg while I'm right here too. But now they've got more room instead of just the one little square. They've got both squares. They've got uh, room to eat and run and then exercise. And that's just the the jumbo browns. So this is Six feet long by two feet wide by two feet high. Ruthie, you're getting everybody wet. Play with that water hose. You're getting everybody wet. All right, and then the other side, I did the same same thing for the Texas A&Ms. They have the grip feeder on this end, the hole cut with the board to keep them from getting their toes caught in the wire, which is a a necessity. You don't want them getting their, you don't want them getting caught in a wire. And they like to run them back and forth. It gives them room to play. And not that they didn't have that much room inside, but there was a lot more of them. I have uh, nine, nine females out here and uh, three males. So it gives me twelve of each, each flavor, <laughs> dark meat and white meat, for breeders. If I lose a couple during the winter, I'm just replace them when we hatch out some more for next season. Pardon the moving of the camera, but I have to collect the eggs in one hand here while I'm also running the camera. Ruthie's playing with water and not grabbing the eggs, so. Alright, let me see if there's any more eggs underneath. This is all. And they've got their feeder there and they're enjoying it. They're using it, knowing exactly how to use it. Yes, dear. Need the egg basket. You got the ground all wet. I know. It, it doesn't work that good with the hose. I know. You're not very good with the hose. Here. Nice handful. <laughs> nice handful of eggs. I can't do it with it. I'm holding the camera, too. All right. I just wanted to show you what my update with the, the quail were. Um, they seem to enjoy it. And they all seem to have found the the feeders and they don't seem to make it a mess so actually we're going to save some save some money and save some feed you want to give me the camera yes and ruthie will be the camera woman i will be the camera woman sorry guys all right we'll go in and collect eggs for the rest of the farm i brought a few eggs in earlier it's a warm day his brother popped over and they had a chit chat. say hi, and I was working in the mailbox getting that fixed. I got to talk to my mommy and my sister today and my son. My son's been going to these demolition derbies. Car shows. And I guess one of those guys... one He's of the, having a blast. Anyway. Yeah, he is. One of the guys, I guess, is a relative of his girlfriend's. So they got to talk to him, and I guess he broke his glasses after the oh. derby. Rusty well, no, 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 no. The, the, guy, the guy driving. One of the drivers is a is a relative of his girlfriend, I guess. 
Okay, there's a chicken egg. I brought two chicken eggs and two quail eggs in earlier. Let's see if we get more eggs over here. Yep, another football. Yeehaw! I gotta get this up on blocks. I can't bend over and get down that far anymore. Change the nest boxes. So we're gonna go over to the side. Two more chicken eggs. That's four chicken eggs. Look at them all. Which is good. Look at all the chickies. These guys were all fed this morning, so. Oh, yeah. I'll give their food a spin. That way they've got. Give it a spin. There you go, guys. All right, let's get some eggs out of here. And I think I'll boil up those quail eggs tonight and make some. I took two, no, took three of the brown males out of the outside fence because we had seven males out there. And I took one of the young females back out there to make up for the, there's only eight hens and seven males. So I brought the three. Three males in, took one female out. Now there's nine females and three males out there, counting Queequeg. And uh, giving us 12 of each, each color. Like I told the camera earlier, that's all the quail eggs. We'll fatten these guys up a little bit. Here, I'm, you know. We're using a box today. <laughs> Oh, that's blowing out the heat, but it's really nice, though, actually, today, isn't it? Yep, it was really nice today. It even rained. And Clay fixed the mailbox yep. again. Yeah, said that. Oh, okay. Oops. You uh, might have to help me out here. When the snow plow hit it, they knocked it, and the door wouldn't stay shut. So I had to take a cupboard magnet and drill it through the side of the mailbox so that when you shut the door, the magnet caught the doors. It was a quick, quick fix. Let's check on the mother with her babies. And I said, did Storm get a chicken? Which I've never seen him get a chicken, I don't think. But it's, he's shedding. He's shedding. He's shedding. Okay, let's go look at the chicken. I don't know where the baby is again, but... Oh, there he is. Oh, he's got the baby in there? Let me see no, him. No, it's over with the, in the silky part. Yeah, I see him in there. He fell Can he get back? Yeah, he was in this barn this morning when I went in to do chores. Oh, he, he was in the... He ran out of this barn. <laughs> he's so funny. He gets a, he's got a sense of adventure. So oh, he can't squeeze through the wire. Yeah, anymore. then he's going to have to live with the silkies or... <laughs> uh, he won't be living with the silkies. He'll be living with the... Well, the big ones here pretty soon. There's the babies. See how she's all clucky? All three of them are doing it. I gave them a bunch of those uh, dried mealworms that oh. they gave you for us. There you go, babies. They're doing pretty good. Could grow a little faster. Once we get rid of the silkies in that one barn, these guys can go on the floor of the quail barn. Give them some room to grow. Until they're big enough where they can't get through the She's chain adopted. link anymore. She's adopted babies. Well, she hatched them, so she didn't really adopt them. They're hers. There, you hear that, girl? We've got your woman here. She's in the princess. Rapunzel's in the castle. <laughs> Rapunzel, look, and there's our little silky girl. There's Pernella. She's doing pretty good. Yes, she is. She looks better. I see. I fucking, I can't film that little boy because he just walked away. Yeah, I'll put these there. Let me grab some grass. Maybe they'll, that'll give her something. To... Would you like me to cook some eggs up for you? Yeah, he. Oh, there he is. See if I can get a shot of that little sinker. That little. Wandering chicken that's on the other side. That little boy. I don't know if you can see him. But he's 
in the back there, walking around. He's not going to come back. He's enjoying himself in the cool. He'll come back when he feels like it, I guess. There's the Silkies in their new house. And here's Prunella. Hello, Prunella. How are you? Look how friendly she is. She didn't really get that spooked. But she was actually standing right here yeah, at my feet. The door open so much easier now, Ruby? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Here, she'll, she'll come. Look here, at pretty her. girl. She gets a special treat. Give you guys some. Give you guys some. Give you guys some. Vanilla didn't get any. Feed her by She didn't seem to be interested. No, she's probably been stuffing herself all day. social she is? She likes us. Yeah, very social. She's very social, is right. I hear you. Oh, we got another egg. Oh, God. They just keep dropping them wherever they want. So you can see her size next to... These other guys. See how she just hangs around? Hey, oh, she's hanging right at your feet. Yeah, she follows you right around. Aww. Kind of a green one. Aw, isn't that sweet? Where's she now? She's right next oh, to yeah, you. Oh, yeah, she'll follow you all over. Watch. There she goes, Prunella. And she sees me, though, because uh, she was doing this to me. That, after some of that grass. Yeah. Which is good. Hopefully, she gets some. But I know. She's got that cross beak, so it's kind of hard for her to eat the way she should be. And you can't really trim her beak because they're it's like crossing your fingers. They don't interlock. So she gets in and gets some mash and yeah, she's good. She could pick up the whole kernel corn. I saw her do that. These quail aren't wasting as much food this way. Oh God. Look at those beautiful bald ladies. <laughs> And they aren't mash or knocking the water around quite so much now that they can get over here. Oh, there and rest. she is again. Over here and rest. She's just the next she likes. Aww. Yep, they probably feel safer because the rest of them won't come near us. We'll have to bring special treats for Prunella. We walk around and make sure these guys didn't lay another egg while you're out here. Any egg squirrels? <laughs> What's up, Prunella? <laughs> What's up? What's up, He's going to stop picking all the feathers out of the back of them girls. They aren't going to have any winter feathers for keep them warm. You know, that rooster's actually got control of the guinea hens, yeah, which I'm a little surprised. They don't mess with them too much anymore. No. <laughs> we'll have to bring out special treats for her every day and set her by herself. So you're going to take some... There, see the baby's coming, trying to find a way Yeah, I saw him. He was, he was, what? Better not go in there. You'll meet the dog. She, she, she won't. She comes in this way. She's just going up and down the fence. In a couple of weeks, she won't be able to get through the wire. Just when I go to feed him corn, I need to throw some on that side so that, well, I probably ought to do that. Right now. Yeah, so just a little bit. 
feel bad if she doesn't get something in her belly. Yeah. Not that there's not a whole wow, field. Wow, she's got all them weeds and everything. <laughs> bugs and stuff. But... Can you blame her for not wanting to go over there all the time? <laughs> Part of being a farmer, you worry about the animals first. Oh, yeah. And then I'll be worrying about my stay on there. I said, open yourself. Mm -hmm. It stops against that brick. <laughs> that might call it through the water, too. No, you can't come out for now. <laughs> I remember how that used to catch on the bottom when you were. Oh yeah, it's just not catch with winter coming. Not that well, far. I do the same thing with his fence too. Yeah. Because you go to lift his up and it catches that tree. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're done with chores. Yeah, grab the eggs. Grab the eggs. Okay, where are the eggs? Grab oh, the eggs. here. Organic, gluten-free eggs. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, they're gluten-free. Everything's gluten-free. For real. No wheat in it. Yeah, if it doesn't have wheat in it, these companies are going crazy and people think, ooh, gluten-free. <laughs> well, let's walk through this way, honey. I'm going to clean up, have another fudgy. I'm going to have a fudgy. You want to have another have, popsicle? I'm going to have a sandwich, I think. Okay, you can have a sandwich. It's too hot for anything hot. Yeah. And I did get a lot done today. I more than I expected, so. I filled all my bird feeders, all my hummingbirds ate all the food, and they were looking for more. And I do feel like I have to get something done on a Saturday, or I don't feel like I've done anything all week. Yeah. Do you feel sticky today? Like, no, it's cool, but a little the, sticky. The air was nice. We got another strawberry coming in. Yeah. There we no, go. No, not really. It was, uh, the... Wind's been blowing pretty good, so it's kept me cool. Oh, should we show the rooster? On the, yeah, go ahead and do it. Okay, better show you guys this before. Starting to get some size to it now. Yeah, it'll start pulling you. Okay, this is the hens and chicks. The rooster is about ready to bloom, we hope. This is what? needs to be weeded, but there's the bloom, so it looks like it's ready to bloom. I can't really see because the sun's shining, so all I see is the black screen, but I'm pointing it that way. So, the fly bags, I know. Uh, so, okay guys, there's the mailbox at Clay Fixed. Like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see ya. Fly bags, three quarters full now. Oh, wow. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video. God bless.